Oh my gosh, I cannot believe three hours of going through that crazy traffic. Insane. Look at my face. Look how much stuff is on my face. That's nuts. That road is definitely one of the worst roads I've ever driven. Oh my gosh, I never want to do that again. This, this is the face of a man who has been to hell and back in the last three hours. Oof. Hey everyone, my name's Alex. I'm an ex-medical student who sold all his belongings in 2012 to travel around the world. 50 countries and the adventure continues. Welcome to another beautiful day. It goes forever because it just rained and the entire roads are flooded. So today is going to be a very difficult day on the road. With the scooters, it's going to be interesting. So I wish us a lot of luck. Everybody's pretty much ready to go. We'll see you guys on the road. All right, guys, welcome to another beautiful morning. And our first adventure of the day is we don't know what is happening, but look at this. There's a huge line going back to the, uh, the tent site. I believe it's the pilgrimage which is taking this entire traffic. Look at this, this is crazy. I'm so happy and glad we're going in the opposite direction because look at this. All morning for the last two hours it's been like this. Incredible. All right, we are now headed through the mountains. It is kind of chilly, but we have to make it like 400 kilometers today, which is uh, gonna be like 12 hours driving. So it's gonna be a pretty hectic day, but just check out the view, man. So beautiful. All right, guys, we're barely half an hour into our drive in the morning and we have our second adventure and it is actually a protest. People are closing the streets. Things are happening. Look at this huge line. We're not quite sure what's uh, what's going on. So we're gonna make our way to the very front of the line, which is what I usually do a protest. And we figure it out from there. We see if we can cross, we can sneak by, we can uh, pay some people off, we can, you know. Well, if you guys don't know what a protest in Jammu and Kashmir looks like, uh, this is it. Oh, I'm sorry, I don't speak Hindi. I don't speak Hindi, sorry. It's possible? Okay, just neutral your way through. Excuse me. You have to basically push these people is what needs to happen. Oh my gosh. What madness. Okay, well actually, what do you think of the protest? It's useless. What was achieved? Uh, they want taxi ah. for school, school going to children. Basically close this road down. And hours and hours, for no reason. And they do. Yeah. Oh, he's coming. Me guys. All right, guys, welcome to the beautiful town of Srinagar. And yeah, it is awful traffic, people, pollution, bad drivers. Yeah, I'm really starting to miss the mountains. Anyway, we're gonna get on the road here and uh, hopefully find some lunch and not get kill this lady. <laughs> hey guys, we got some story time. So, as you see, there's military pretty much everywhere on the side here. And we're in the region of Kashmir and Jammu. And it's a very volatile region because it's a dispute zone. That means there's no actual real border definitions. The land is kind of split up and it's kind of shared common ground between India and Pakistan. All right, so Vic has just corrected me. It's actually the land that's Indian, but it's disputed by Pakistan and claims it's theirs. You see military all over this place just spread out. We've never seen some of the military before. It's kind of unsettling to see so many guys with guns, military on the road, check stops, checkpoints. Reality of this side of the world. Yeah, just military over there in the shadows. Welcome to the scenic outlook. And this is where they all come by and try to sell you fruit. Look at that. Chola! <laughs> Chola, chola! Chola! <laughs> chola, chole! You see? Stuck! Excuse me. I'm gonna try to take it. Pop in the gear.
All right, nobody touch this. <laughs> nobody touch it. It's gone back to the normal place, but it's uh, if I do a little too much, it gets stuck. So I just gotta take it easy. <laughs> oh <laughs> man! Woo. Yep. No. <laughs> Unbelievable. Oh my gosh, this is ridiculous road. How much my lungs and my stomach are queasy and they hurt. Kilo of dust in my lungs by now. Oh. Whoa, that was close. What are you gonna do about it, huh? Huh? Oh my gosh! Look at this traffic jam! Oh, come on, dude, really? You freaking suck! Useless! You're useless! Alright, people are going the wrong way now. I'm honking, they're honking, everybody's honking. Wrong way! Wrong freaking way! Hey, uh uh! Wrong way! Man, I have never been so stressed out or pissed off or angry at stupid traffic! <laughs> and you wonder why this road rage here in India. Miserable, absolutely miserable this road. Do yourself a favor, if you're ever around this area, do not take this road. Uh, Cargill to Schrendinger. Hey, just make sure you just want to punch somebody. My gosh, look at this, it keeps going and going and going. Lane driving is safe driving, okay. Can't follow that rule when you're in this traffic jam. Let's do this. Slush. Everybody's like, oh, what's happening? Oh, we don't know what's happening. Yeah, you guys have no idea. You have like a five hour line ahead of you. Jeez. Oh my gosh, I cannot believe three hours of going through that crazy traffic. Insane. Look at my face. Look how much stuff is on my face. That's nuts. That's ridiculous. That road is definitely one of the worst roads I've ever driven. Miserable. There's no room to pass. It's muddy. It's slushy. People are so aggressive and crazy. The gas station guys are nice though. They're very cool. Look at them. <laughs> oh my gosh, I never want to do that again. Ever. Oh, just look at this. This is the face of a man who has been to hell and back in the last three hours. The bike is filthy. Oh, look at that. Just full of dust. Imagine my lungs. My phone also absolutely dusty. My jacket is no longer nice and black. My jacket is now dusty. So I lost all my friends. Everybody went off on their own. Gotta wait for them to get back. Oh, absolutely miserable. Cursing in my own head. And look at my boots, look at my pants. Look at that, they're like white. That is crazy. I'm gonna end the video here because it's just that stressful. So thanks for joining me, see you tomorrow. All right, it is the end of the day. We went through traffic, my face is still black from all the horrible contamination. And we finally met up with Lakshay and Gwadap over here. This is the last time I'm gonna see him on this trip. Uh, no, 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 no. Until, until, this trip, until I get to Delhi, and then we'll see each other again, right? Because they're leaving to Delhi and uh, Vekas and I, that's right over there, are actually gonna go to Amherstur and a few other places, the Golden Temple. Few other things here and there, and we uh, will be meeting him soon. And he'll be meeting soon okay. each other again. And so meet Sri again, Lanka again, also. Again, again. <laughs> exactly. Sri Lanka also. Sri Lanka. Oh yeah, Sri Lanka. Hey, a little tip for you guys. Anyway, super cool guys. Uh, be sure to check him out. I'll put a link in the description below. Really nice guys. Uh, pleasure to hang out with you guys, and I hope we get to do it again very very soon. Best of luck on your trip. Good night. Good night, everybody. Good night. Good night. Good night. Have a good trip. Sit down.